It's always an exciting day in the loft when a new replicator arrives from New Wave Toys, and finally, at long last, it's here! Missile Command, the 1980 arcade game, originally released by Atari. New Wave Toys mini handheld arcade console is here, and I'm super excited to check this thing out. Now, I've been covering New Wave Toys for a very long time, and this is the first time that they've ever actually sent me a product for the purpose of filming a review video. So I greatly appreciate that, and no, I'm not going to hide that with a size 2 font in the lower left corner of the video review. But just like any other product that I review on this channel, I'll provide you my honest feedback and opportunities for improvement if I see any. For starters, as you can tell, this cabinet mirrors the original Missile Command arcade shape. When they say replicate, these are truly mini replicas of glorious original arcade machines. It looks great. This mini arcade is 11 and 5 8 inches tall. It is made out of MDF wood, diecast metal, and plastic. Also, it does come with a USB cable for charging and powering the unit. It does have a rechargeable battery. The typical mini uh, quarters that they include with all their replicates for, your, for those who like to put these on display in their dioramas, etc., as well as an instruction booklet, which you should always read out of the box to understand what you're working with. On the back of the replicate, you'll see the port to plug in the USB cable in order to charge the device. You'll see a die-cast metal fake uh, speaker grill cover here, which looks pretty cool. You'll see original stickers from the original arcade machine recreated and printed all over this thing. You'll also see your volume slider on top of the unit, as well as the power button, which you have to hold for three seconds to power the unit on and off. Now, pre-orders are shipping for two versions of this cabinet. This is the standard original edition of the Missile Command, and as you can see, it comes included with a marquee that looks like this, just like the original arcade. It does light up, and it looks pretty good. The coin door on the front of the unit is a great recreation of the Atari coin door. It does open up, it does light up, and it is made of die-cast metal. And I always love that despite the size of these units, nobody, nobody can recreate an arcade machine the way New Wave Toys does with the love and care and effort put into their products to make these look and feel like original arcades, even though they're one six scale. When this product was originally announced and when I did pre-order it, because I did pre-order it, I do have a pre-order coming as well. So I'm going to end up having two of these and possibly do a giveaway. Well, what's interesting is I wondered how are they going to pull off the trackball and the volcano buttons. The volcano buttons are fantastic. These look and feel like real Atari volcano buttons. And this is um, New Wave Toys new XL trackball. This trackball actually works, looks, and feels pretty dang good for what it is. The original control panel for the Missile Command arcade machine was so iconic that they couldn't make any mistakes here, and sure enough, they didn't. You have your alpha, your beta, your omega bases, everything is printed. You have your one player, two player, start, light up, volcano buttons, trackball, all the artwork is printed, and with the instructions on the game, Everything looks the way it does on the original arcade for the most part. I can't complain. The unit includes a premium LCD color screen and a 4-3 aspect ratio that is in its proper horizontal orientation, and this does play the original arcade ROM. The bezel itself also includes player 1, high score today, player 2, as well as your alpha, delta, and omega bases to help you during gameplay all on the bezel for you. This little mini arcade includes a number of firsts from New Wave Toys, including that awesome trackball, but also the CRT FX Convex. That's right, this transparent lens. You'll notice the bezel, it looks like an actual CRT sitting in front of this thing, but it's not. It's an LCD screen. But it's a transparent lens that transforms the LCD screen to look as much like an original CRT television set as possible. This is an awesome first from New Wave Toys, and I hope they put this on every single one of their machines moving forward. I absolutely love this. If you look closely enough, you'll see that this CRT filter lens that they have sitting in front of the LCD screen, what it does is it kind of makes the middle of the screen stick out, and then the edges of the screen as it moves towards the edges, they kind of tilt and lean backwards with whatever magnification they put in on the lens. Everything that they did here is super cool. It almost looks like a real mini CRT sitting inside of this thing versus a flat LCD screen. This was a great idea. Everything about this little mini arcade cabinet is nearly perfect. Take a look at how this trackball responds. It works pretty, pretty well. The only opportunity that I could discover 
or think I found while testing and reviewing this unit is the audio. I think there's a little bit of an audio delay when it comes to the explosions that are happening on the screen. A very slight delay, but nothing that completely ruins the experience. Let's check it out. I mean, I think that little delay is there, but let me know if you disagree with me. Let me know if I'm wrong. I'm happy to be wrong if I am, because other than that, everything else on this thing works. You're able to save your high scores. You're able to hit the player two start button on the coin door. You could enter into the dip switch settings. You could change the screen brightness, adjust having the marquee on or off, the trackball sensitive sensitivity. You could adjust that, make it feel and play the way you want it to change the number of uh, cities that you have at your disposal, as well as how you get your bonus points, how many points to achieve bonuses, etc. So as always, wonderful that New Wave Toys always gives you access to the dip switch settings. Pre-orders for this mini arcade are shipping now. Typically what happens is once all the pre-orders are filled, New Wave Toys will open it up for customers who missed out on pre-orders to get an order in on their website. I'll have a link for this in the video description below if this is something you're interested in. The regular price, not the pre-order price, the full price is $150, and these things are typically well worth it. Make sure you sign up on their email list, that way you can get pre-orders for $125, which is typically what I do. I myself pre-ordered a unit. My pre-order unit arrives tomorrow. I'll end up doing a giveaway on the channel for that. I'm very happy that New Wave Toys decided to send me one for the purpose of making review, so that's pretty cool in my book too. Thanks so much, New Wave Toys. Um, again, minus that one thing that I think might be going on with the audio, everything else on this thing is a home run. Definitely want to get your guys' thoughts, feedback, and reactions below. Again, I collect these. I don't really play them. The only time I play them is when I take them off the shelf to dust them, and then I'll play them, and then I'll put them back on the shelf and not play them again until I dust them. That's just kind of how I do it. In my opinion, these are more for looks than they are for actual everyday game playing. But I want to know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the review, do me a favor, guys. Give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, my dudes, thank you for subscribing.